welcome to Embracing Matches. We're going to be checking the uh, Divine Masculine Energy. Put that in as well. Uh, another week or so we'll have the Divine Feminine cards and we can do the same on that end. Um, yes, we both... We have both masculine and feminine energy, but I, I want to focus, as for spirit, on them individually at this time. So you guys can switch them however you want. All right? Uh, spirit, what messages do we have? Masculine, okay. okay. Oh, we got some flippers. Okay, okay. Anything else? Okay. Okay. That was another flipper. Anything else, sir? We're going once. Going twice. Okay, three times for now. We had some sound like it wanted to flip, but it didn't. All right, we're going to start at the bottom here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. <laughs> Abandonment, feels left out. Codependency, fears being left. Okay. So, Divine Feminine, it's either your masculine uh, feels that you may be walking away from them or they may be uh, feeling their, their uh, person that they're currently in a relationship with walking away from them or they may be Fearing that relationship ending, that's codependency, right? They may not know what to do because they've been in this codependent state with someone else for so long. So low self-esteem, negative beliefs about oneself, lack of confidence, feeling badly about oneself. Masculines may not be feeling too good about themselves right now based on the situation that they, they have themselves in. Self-deception, denying one's truth, allowing oneself to believe that a false or unvalidated feeling, idea, or situation is true. Okay, so they may have been uh, faking the funk with their own thoughts, right? Maybe thinking something totally, totally different than what was um, the truth or what was being presented to them. Or they could have um, been thinking that someone that was lying to them was not lying or that a situation was something other than what it was by just telling themselves, no, nah, that person wouldn't do that. You know, divine femin feminists like we did with our masculines, right? That part. Compromise. Maybe thinking that he can compromise or figure out how to compromise with someone. Loyal. May want to show someone some loyalty. May feel trapped in a situation or a relationship. May be trapped in a mindset. May be trapped with uh, being stagnant, not knowing which way to move, not knowing what to do. Karmic partner. May be trapped with this karmic partner. The purpose of this connection is to learn lessons, provide personal growth and self-improvement required for the, the soul's journey. May not understand that the situation that they're in, they had to be in. Okay, so that they can learn the lessons so that they can go forward in their life with their divine partner. Planning, maybe planning something here. Maybe planning to come and see you, uh, divine feminine. Maybe planning to get out of this trapped state and get away from the par karmic partner. Um, but it's fearing losing everything. Um, Fears being alone doesn't this 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 masculine or masculine um, masculines that I'm picking up on do not like to be alone. They like to have options. Marriage, maybe thinking about marriage, maybe in a marriage with the karma partner. Okay, maybe thinking about marrying you, a uh, divine feminine, or someone else. Overindulgence, less uh, lessons of change and balance to manifest temperance. Examples are overeating, greed, over drinking, debauchery, spending beyond your means or necessities, you know, overindulgence in um, sexual partners, um, porn, stuff of that nature. Karma. 
paying off karmic debts owed from past lives and the present life. Yeah, that's why you're with the karmic. You're paying off your karma uh, that you had from previous lives and things that you've done to your divine feminines in, in previous lifetimes as well. Worthy. You may not feel worthy at this time. Uh, he, um, I'm sorry. I'm talking to you guys like you're the masculines. Your divine masculine may not feel worthy of you right now, feminines. Lessons. Maybe learning lessons. Valuable soul lessons needed to make self whole again. He needs to learn some things. Maybe trying to teach himself some things about this journey. He may feel abundant or may want to be abundant and may see you as his abundance, divine feminine. Clarity. Able to see things clearly. Un understanding situations people places and things for what they truly are right the self-deception is wearing off okay the karmic's black magic is also wearing off so he's having clarity on situations and things that he didn't even get to see before and has not been able to uh um, view with with uh solid eyes okay confession he may have a confession that he needs to tell you guys he may need to tell you guys the truth divine feminines knowledge trying to be better to understand the connection with the counterpart by reading books searching the internet watching tarot readings etc he's trying to learn he's trying to get educated someone's masculine or collectively a few masculines anything else okay gift he may have a gift that he wants to give you guys Suppression, not allowing self to think or feel things, bottled up emotions. He may be trying to suppress the feelings that he has for you right now, Divine Feminine. He may not want to feel that love because it's unconditional. It's very powerful. It's not the same as the, the love that he has for the karmic. The yearning, the feeling, the the need uh, of his feminine is, is overwhelming right now. And he's trying to turn, uh, turn it off. Guidance from higher self spirit trusted family and friends anyone with wisdom okay he may be trying to get help from friends but not all of those people that you're trying to get help from or that he's trying to get help from are helpful they may be the reason why he's stuck in self-deception and why he needs clarity because they're giving him the wrong information clouded see didn't i say that they're clouding his judgment because he may be speaking to too many people and they're giving him conflicting things and it's like tearing his head up unable to think clearly unable to make decisions poor concentration absolutely because you're asking people different things and they're giving you different scenarios and different uh opinions go within beginnings may want to start anew with you may want to have a new beginning of some nature and do not does not know how divine feminines chance wanting to take a take a leap ready to take a chance not wanting to miss out on an opportunity he may feel that you guys are slipping away he may feel that you're walking away he may feel like you know i'm stuck in this situation with this karmic i don't know what to do i can feel that my feminine is moving away from me and it's killing him right now What messages, Spirit? I think of you when certain songs come on the radio. You are so beautiful or handsome to me. You guys take that how it resonates. He knows that you are the divine feminine and not the karmic. Okay? He's going through an awakening. Stalk you just to see you sometimes. He's doing whatever he can do just to see you, divine feminines. He misses you bending over for some of you. He cannot show you who he truly is. He feels like he's giving you a facade. He feels like he's giving you a fake person and he's scared to show you or be honest about what he presented to you. 
Right. What he presented to you was not what it is. He's a married man that likes to have his cake and eat it too. Or he could be in a committed relationship. That's what he doesn't want to tell you. Our souls will meet again in another lifetime. Right? Because he's doing what he's doing. He has free will. And he can walk towards you, Divine Feminine. But he has to make that choice. He misses you. Misses your lips. One of your masculines may like to, to kiss you. Or you like to kiss them. Okay. Somebody's masculine has more kids than you know about. Cheats with people from their past. Meaning they like to... to uh, have connections or continue connections with people they have a hard time letting people go out of their life because they want to keep the door open so that they are never alone they choose to reject this journey with you they're taking their free will to have uh whatever it is that they're doing their cake and eating it too but they do miss you and they're not trying to have a commitment with you because most of these masculines are in a commitment with someone else Absolutely they are. That's the confession. Or they have been. Some people are trying to come out of it. Some masculines are trying to release themselves. I feel so guilty for treating you like an option. You were just someone I just wanted to have sex with. Right? That's why that's the way this this union started it was very sexual, very passionate, but it turned into something else because, you know, he didn't understand the union that that he was into. He thought he was just having some fun, but it turned into something else because the feelings got deeper. He misses you. You see that? I ain't saying it. Doesn't know what to do. He's so ashamed. You are my twin flame. He understands that. Now, after going through this karmic journey and going through and, and paying back his karma, is someone still doing black magic on them people? Yes, they are. But that's all coming to an end because judgment is here for a lot of the karmics. Yeah, that jig is going to be up. All right, guys, this has been your message. See you in two days. Need a personal reading? Holla at me. Bye-bye.